go up to options and again we want to capture only geometry and uh, white white background anti-aliasing that that helps to smooth up the edges so you can see the edges are a little um, a little rough here but that gets smoothed up when when we do anti-aliasing and then under uh, rendering quality we we'll want to select customized and then more and um, I'm going to change the, the pixel size and let's set that to 3000 pixels instead of 1200 so it's going to bump it up by 250 percent click OK OK and then go ahead and capture that so it's going to take a little bit longer but it gives me a much higher quality image. So if you want, you know, let's uh let's set that back to to the previous screen image setting and record that also. So you see the difference. All right, so if I go to, um, so this is this is what it looks like on your screen if you're just taking the screen resolution, and then this is what it looks like when you bump it up. So it gives you a much, it's almost, you know, it's it's uh, it gives you a much cleaner, um, but quick uh, view of the model that you can share with someone. Um, if you if you want to change uh, the the way that the model is um, is displayed, you can go down to this uh, rendering options, which is kind of right in the middle of the of the toolbars at the bottom here, and you can change that from shading. You can change that to uh, to not show all the the lines. Basically, this uh, this gives you um, different rendering styles. You can view it in wireframe. If you want to, if you want to do hidden line, I'm going to just quickly show this. Uh, you just want to click that dynamic hidden line removal on, and this gives you a hidden line view of the model. So go ahead and play with that on your own and uh, try that out. So, um, so now to kind of uh, conclude, I want to talk a little bit about the file structure. Uh, we talked about this earlier on in previous, I think in the first webinar that I gave, um, we talked about the, the way that the, um, the file is set up as a project and then broken up into different floors. And typically this is this is how we structure the model so that each one of these part files is um, nested in a very um, organized fashion. And this is very important also for collaborating with with a team. Because if we look um, the tree here corresponds with the folder structure. So just like we have an HL1 here, and underneath HL1 we have level 2, level 3, level 4, the same corresponds with the tree. And this is important that we have uh, a file structure layout that corresponds with the layout of the tree. Um, and if you notice, each one of these files is, is quite small, but we aggregate them all together through the product structure as one large model. And this, this is what allows us basically to deal with virtually um, any, in, any limit uh, of project size. Uh, we basically don't, don't have to deal with one single model. Instead, we have many, many different models aggregated into one space. 
and that allows us to to have different scales like like in the uh, the um, example that I point out in a previous webinar uh, this uh, lower Manhattan project that we're modeling you can you can imagine that the uh, that the that this uh, model must be you know very very large and and in some cases there's a lot of detail and this uh, this is basically something that that we're able to do because we have these these models aggregated under one um, detailed product structure. So I just explain a, a little bit um, how that works with a team. So typically uh, on, a, on a team you have um, you have MEP structure and architecture and they may be dealing with different models but those models um, will overlap and that overlap is something that the 3D coordinator um, <coughs> deals with and and these models um, are basically being shared um, in our case uh, on one server and that uh, that system that we that we use allows the model with all the different um, components to um, to be served in one location and then we can check it in and out so just kind of like a library book we can we can take different parts of the model uh, and check them in and check them out so there's only one person working on on one portion of the model um, and instead of there being one uh, single file we have all these files uh, this is an example of um, a tree structure in uh, in schematic design, and and here it is as it expands into design development. So this is uh, this is um, something that occurs as the as the project adapts and changes. The tree structure expands, um, and all the files and and products that contain them. Um, start to be supplemented and shared between uh, different trades. So um, that basically uh, concludes this, this eighth um, Building Fluency webinar. I'd like to, for everyone here at Knowledge Services, I'd like to thank everyone for attending um, this initial Building Fluency webinar series. Um, although we're concluding uh, these introductory weekly webinars on Wednesdays, uh, billing fluency will continue. We plan to start up again following the winter holidays uh, with fresh topics to cover. Um, some may introduce uh, some topics we may introduce will be completely new, while others we may la may elaborate upon topics that we previously just introduced. Um, this actually gives uh, you our uh, digital project user, an opportunity to um, go to our website, uh, go under webinars, and um, take a look at the videos. Um, if you missed uh, any of the sessions, go ahead and, and take a look and, and review on your own. Um, you can catch up. Uh, so there's a little time before we uh, come into the new year to review uh, the topics we covered previously. Um, if anyone would like to develop their expertise a little further in digital project, uh, you can go under support training and um, and send us a, a training request um, concerning you know you can send us a request concerning uh, training availability and cost. Uh, you know with training you have the um, the choice of attending a training session in our in one of our offices worldwide, or you can arrange to travel to, or we can arrange to travel to a location. Uh, of your choosing, um, granted that, that it's a group event, so at least um, five people. Um, again, thank you for attending. Uh, we'll see you soon as we continue our Building Fluency webinars on Wednesday mornings, uh, coming from you from the Gary Technologies headquarters in Los Angeles. Uh, thanks, everyone, and see you soon. <laughs>